Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn about GitLab Runner and we will go very basic step by step and learn how to install, register and start GitLab Runner. And in this session I am going to show you on Mac operating system and in the next session we will see this on Windows operating system. So we are going to learn what is GitLab Runner, how to install, register and start GitLab Runner and I am going to go very basic step by step so if you do not have any prior knowledge on GitLab Runner do not worry we will start from scratch and before I write down the steps let us see what is GitLab Runner. So GitLab Runner is used in GitLab CI and we have not yet learnt about GitLab CI this we will learn in the coming sessions what is GitLab CI and how to use it for now this is a open source service or I should say this is open source continuous integration service and this is included with GitLab so once you have a GitLab account you also get this GitLab CI which is an open source continuous integration service and using GitLab CI we can create jobs we can run jobs like in a continuous integration server and this we will learn in the coming sessions so GitLab, C GitLab runner is used to run jobs and send results back to GitLab so once we get started with GitLab CI, we will use GitLab Runner to run the jobs and then send the results back to GitLab. So let us see what are the steps we have to do for setting up GitLab Runner. Step number one will be we will install GitLab Runner. Step number two will be this is step number one install GitLab Runner then we will register GitLab Runner and then finally step number three will be start GitLab Runner. So these are the three basic steps. Let us see how do we do it. I will go to Google and search for GitLab Runner and I will go to this website for GitLab Runner documentation. And here you can see all these docs. It says GitLab Runner is the open source project that is used to run your jobs and send results back to GitLab. Uh, it is written in Go programming language. You can see some features, multiple job, concurrently runs and all these. And here if you go down, we have a section to install GitLab Runner and I will click on this installed link you can see all this documentation about GitLab Runner, how to configure, troubleshooting, etc. I will go to this page and let me also make all these URLs available in the notes and these will be available in the description or the notes section of your video. So these are the two links. Now I have come to here, install GitLab Runner and if you scroll down, we have this install for Mac operating system. So I will click here install for Mac operating system and here we have the steps. Now if you want to install manually we have these steps. You have to download the binary in your system and for that you can use this command. You can just copy this from here and run in your terminal and it will download the binary and then you have to give the permissions using this command and then we will go to the register the runner. So before we go to register let us download GitLab runner and here this is the first way. The second way is using homebrew. So what is homebrew? If I go to homebrew search for homebrew on Google and you can see this is the website brew.sh if I go here you can see here it says missing package manager for Mac OS. So this is a package manager using homebrew we can uh, manage packages install and update packages on Mac and to install homebrew it is very simple you just have to copy this statement and run on your terminal and then you can start using homebrew and here are some examples as well. So uh, homebrew is a good way to install and manage packages on Mac so I am going to go with this approach. So here you just have to run this command brew install gitlab runner 
so I will go to my terminal and run this brew install GitLab runner and this will install GitLab runner on my Mac operating system let me also put the command here this is the command I have used and here you can see it is updating home view and then it will install GitLab runner and then we will be starting it so let me just wait for the GitLab runner to get installed and this is getting installed here so you can see home view is taking care of all the things and now this is done and let me check if I can let me clear this let me see GitLab runner if I say version and yes I'm getting the details about GitLab runner so you can run this command GitLab runner minus minus version to see all the details of GitLab runner installed on your system so this is the command GitLab runner minus minus version now we have installed GitLab runner the second step is to start it so here we this is the command to start GitLab runner I will just run this command and check so this is already started let me try to stop it and then start again I will say stop view services stop GitLab runner and then I will start it and now I will start it and this is successfully started so these are the commands to start or stop GitLab runner and to stop this is the command so we have done uh, step number one and actually we have also seen this step number three but let us first go to step number two and register our GitLab runner before we start it so I will keep it stopped for now let me just keep it stopped and let us see how we can register our GitLab runner so here if I go here I will go back here and let me see where we have the registration part you can see on this first link we have a section register GitLab runner and here is a link I will go here and let us see what are the steps to register GitLab runner now here on this page if you scroll down you will find all the steps for Mac OS Windows OS etc so I am on Mac so let me go here now here I am showing you these pages and showing you all these uh, documentation here so that in case I miss anything in my notes you can just go here and you can follow it also if anything changes in the future you will have the links with you and you can follow it here so this is for registration let me also copy the link here and then for Mac OS these are the steps so you have to run the following command GitLab runner register this is the first command so I will go here on my terminal and run the command GitLab runner register and here it is saying please enter GitLab CI coordinator URL and this is the URL of GitLab that you have to enter here so just enter the GitLab URL and say enter and here it says please enter the GitLab CI token for this runner so for getting the CI token I will log into my GitLab account so I will go to gitlab.com
so you have to get your token from your project so I will sign in and use my username and password to sign in and here I will go to my project you can also go from here project and your projects I'll go to the project and then we have to go to the project settings so here if you see if you scroll down you will find settings here you can see settings are here just go to settings and then under settings you will find CICD section here so go here CICD and here we will have a section for runners click on expand and here you will find set up a specific runner manually so here we have the option so this is what we are doing this is the URL we have already given and this is the token for this project so copy the, the token from here and provide it here and hit enter and then uh, the description let me just say this is my runner that's it and then we have to enter the tags now tags will be important but for now you can just add some tags comma separated let us say SSH CIE anything you can also give your project names so we will learn about why tags are important when we do GitLab CI for now I'm giving SSH and CI you can give the same thing and press enter again and here you can see it says registering runner succeeded and then please enter the executor now what are the executors parallel custom docker SSH SSH so have we have so many executors so if you want to run on docker or some Kubernetes all these you can do for now I will just say a very simple executor which is shell so I will just say shell and press enter it says runner registered successfully feel free to start it but if it's running already uh, the config should be automatically uh, reloaded so we have done this so these are the commands we have used So these are the commands GitLab runner setup and then we have just followed all our this manual so this is what we have done and now we have to start GitLab runner so you can just use this to start GitLab runner and just in case if you are not using brew uh, here we have all the options you can just use GitLab runner stop and GitLab runner start like this uh, here you can see GitLab runner start if you're not using brew so in my case now it is successfully started and then the last step will be step number four will be check runner is activated in the project so we have to check the runner is activated in the project so again you can go to your GitLab go to your project go to CI CD go to settings and go to CI CD and then go to okay, you have to go to settings and then go to CI CD and here and expand the runner section and now if you scroll down you can see the runner is here so this is the runner and it is started you can also see the name here you can see the tags that we added CIE and SSH and this runner is started so how to use the runner how to do GitLab CI all that we are going to learn in the coming sessions and this is how you can install register and start GitLab runner on Mac operating system I hope this session was very useful for you Please do hands on and if you have any questions do write them down in the comment section below and I will try to answer you as soon as I can. Please also share your knowledge with others and thank you so much for watching.